Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for November 12th, 2012. It is good to be back after a bit of a hiatus because of no power. But now we are back in action. Well, let's take a look at the warm temperatures we are experiencing this morning. Many locations are where we should be for afternoon highs this time of year, ranging from the upper 40s to lower 50s for much of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. We have one location in New Jersey in the upper 30s uh, due to some fog, and we do have some fog up around Poughkeepsie and Messina. That is That will keep temperatures a little bit cooler this morning, but that will burn off by roughly 10 a.m. Of course, it's currently 8.30 a.m., so it wouldn't take much longer. We can also see the same effect happening over Reading and portions of southern southeastern Pennsylvania. The rest of the region is warming up nicely, and it looks like we're going to be dealing with excellent weather conditions with temperatures rising into the upper 50s to lower 60s. Could even see a few mid 60s. I wouldn't be surprised if portions of the Delaware River Valley right around here ends up around 60, 67 degrees. Now this has been a bit of a crazy couple of days. The past 15 days we've seen a hurricane, a snowstorm, and now 60 degree temperatures. Very, very volatile weather pattern. So let's take a look at what else is coming up. Well, looks like we're going to have a cold front move through, and this cold front means business. As you can see with all the blues and yellows here, we have a tremendous amount of lifting ahead of this cold front. And that usually means we're going to see a pretty dynamic temperature change set up for the region. We're going to see a lot of rainfall with this cold front because of this lifting, but behind this cold front, temperatures are falling off into the 40s and 30s. So we're dealing with the real McCoy here as far as a powerful polar cold front. Not Arctic in, nat in nature, but certainly packs a punch. And take a look at the water vapor satellite picture. You can see the strong upper level low associated with this cold front that is moving to the east. Now, I'm a little bit concerned about this right here. You see that this is sinking air and this is rising air. Why is this important? Well, we're going to have a strong jet streak setting up over the Ohio River Valley that will shift towards the East Coast. And what that basically means is that there's a potential in the periods of heavy rain for some strong wind gusts to set in over the northern Man Atlantic moving forward for this upcoming uh, 24 hours. So basically what I'm expecting here with this cold front is periods of rain starting tomorrow morning, a few embedded thunderstorms, it's going to be isolated in nature, not severe, but the concern here is that within some of this heavier rainfall, you could get some stronger wind gusts mixed in. And you can see with our radar, we have plenty of rainfall setting up over the Ohio River Valley. And this is all going to shift to the east towards the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area by tomorrow morning. And it will linger on through tomorrow afternoon, followed by tranquil weather conditions by tomorrow evening and for the rest of the week. Taking a look at the latest model guidance using the European model guidance from the Penn State EWAL website. Here we are by this evening. Our trough is starting to become what's called negatively tilted, which is going to slow down the advancement of this cold front. So by this evening, the cold front should make it to about central Pennsylvania and slowly push to the east. Notice the dry air in place at the lower and mid levels right here. That's going to prevent any rainfall from reaching the region, but it will lead to an increase in clouds as moisture at the mid and upper levels starts to increase. So look for increasing clouds this afternoon and evening. Moving forward through tomorrow, that cold front blew, blows through. I'm expecting the cold front to exit the region roughly in the afternoon, let's say about 4 or 5 p.m. By the time that happens, look for periods of rain up through that point, a few embedded thunderstorms, and don't be surprised at the very end because we're getting some pretty strong cold air advection here of uh, some of this rain actually changing over briefly to snow before ending. I don't expect any accumulation with this as temperatures throughout the day will fall from the well basically the upper 40s to lower 50s early to, uh, early this uh, early tomorrow morning should I say and continue to fall through the day into the 40s bottoming out tomorrow evening in the upper well, mid 30s to lower 40s. So we'll be getting colder throughout the day tomorrow as this cold front moves through. But again, I'm expecting all rainfall in this cold front passage. Thereafter, high pressure will be in complete control for the rest of the week with tranquil weather conditions expected. A bit breezy at times. You know, we're talking about winds from the north around 5 to 15 miles per hour, possibly gusting to 20 miles per hour at times. 
but overall we're looking at temperatures pretty much back to slightly below normal to near normal ranges ranging anywhere from the mid 40s to lower 50s for highs and lows in the upper 20s to mid 30s for lows pretty much typical for this time of year so once this cold front moves through high pressure remains in control and then by early next week let's say about Tuesday or Wednesday we have to keep an eye on this disturbance right here that could produce a rather slow moving rain producing storm I say rain producing because notice with this trough in the west we end up with a rather large ridge over the rest of the country with the polar jet stream but the subtropical jet stream with all the moisture remains active so that basically means all our cold air right now is locked up in Canada but we still end up with an active storm track heading into early next week so it's something to certainly keep an eye on moving forward that is your forecast discussion for today of course I'm your meteorologist Stephen Martino. you can follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter and Facebook this, of course, is a Storm Surge LLC group. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there.